Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Are You In? Uh, now, last week, uh, if you watched, uh, I reviewed uh, of Mice and Men's previous album, Cold World. Um, now, that was the current one up to date until last month when they dropped another CD. So, without further ado, today I am reviewing of Mice and Men's newest album, Defy. Now, uh, I'm not going to go over the band um, at length, only because I did it in the previous album review. So, uh, if you would like to know more about who they are or what type of music they do, uh, please look at uh, my first album review of theirs on Cold World. Um, the only thing that you do need to know is that uh, their previous lead singer, uh, Carlisle, was, uh, had to leave due to... Um, physical health issues, uh, so he no longer is with them. Um, so how does that change the sound of, of My and Men? Uh, well, uh, let's talk about some pros here and then some cons and then what I think about it. Um, so the pros here, um, unfortunately aren't as many. Um, I will say that I do like, uh, Polly's, uh, Screaming vocals on here. They're not horrible. Um, they are they have some interesting sounds uh, Especially in unbreakable the the during the breakdown section uh, He does like a low guttural up into a more higher scream um, Which is interesting to me. It's something that I haven't really heard that much of um, and Polly does sound great on this um, There are some more interesting and more uh, more heavy songs like Defy, uh, the the first song on the album, is very heavy compared to what they have what they have shown on the previous album, um, and it gives it a much different vibe than uh, Game of War was on the previous album. Uh, it was a nice way of definitely of, of starting off um, the album, um, and there seems to be a lot of uh, good drumming on this uh, album. I noticed it more uh, on this album than I did the previous album. Uh, so there are some more interesting uh, musical arrangements, if you will. Uh, even on the last song, um, If We Were Ghosts, has a really cool feel to it. It has a nice 6-4 feel um, and some really good drumming. Um, they have an interesting take on um, Pink Floyd's Money. Uh, which is another uh, somewhat highlight of the album. Um, I enjoy Polly's rendition of it, uh, so there's another plus. Um, other than that, uh, just a lot of solid songs, I will say. Uh, however, this is where the negative comes in. Um, there's way too much mediocre on there, uh, if if you will. Um, the first thing is the vocals, uh, the, the lyrics themselves are not up to par with the previous album. Now, I'm not saying that the the lyrics blew anyone away on uh, in Cold World. And in fact, there are a couple of songs that are lackluster and I've talked about them um, because they were more like 12 Stones-esque where not great uh, lyrics, just more of like, uh, very combative lyrics, very, um, how you say, um, just very simple lyrics. Um, but unfortunately, more of that tends to show itself on this album. And therefore, um, you know, if, if like, you're, you're already in a losing battle if your lyrics aren't interesting. Um, and just too many of them are are very much like about I'm unbreakable or I will defy you or like all these like rebellion and stuff like that. And it's and it's cool, but uh, if your lyrics aren't great, then you're just repeating the same idea over and over and over and over again, and it gets tiring. Um, and also with Carlisle gone, um, this duality of their their voices and like the different tones that they have that complement each other on certain songs uh you know on the previous album like like a ghost 
are um, real, where they're not maybe maybe not the most interesting of songs, but because of the way that they talk about it, I mean the way that they sing, um, it gives it an interest. Uh, it gives it a place to go uh, when uh, you don't have much to, much else interesting. Um, but with Polly by himself and him doing the the clean vocals and the screaming vocals. You don't get that reprieve of another idea or another sound working together with it. Um, or even you don't get a reprieve of Polly singing one song and then Carlisle singing one song. Um, it, and because of that, any song that isn't good is going to become monotonous. And there's way too many of those songs on there. Uh, you have uh, Instincts is really, really bad song, honestly. It's like a bad 12 stone song. Uh, you know, uh, How Will You Live, another throwaway song to me. Um, and, like, I don't want it to be because it is talking about depression and anxiety. And I get that that's a very important topic to talk about, but the way that they, um, the way that they approach a song isn't great. Um, you know, there's, there's way too many blah songs on here for me to recommend the whole entire cd as a whole um i mean if you like if you like them definitely take a listen um and you'll find some little little saving graces in here if you will like i said the pie is an awesome opening sound uh, song um vertigo the at the halfway point is a really cool uh song with an awesome uh sitar line on it and it has the best lyrics on the album, um, so definitely take a look at that. Uh, another song that works really well with the uh, of idea of parallel scales, like I was talking about last time, where they work in C major and then C minor, uh, and it it's a nice feel. You'll find a lot of those songs on here. Um, it seems that there are a, a decent amount of bands that do that. Twelve Stones does, I believe. Breaking Benjamin's done that. Um, a lot of these type of main uh, of, of you know, the same type of uh, genre, if you will, do those type of sounds. Um, but it works really well on here. And it does, you know, give some of these weaker songs some light. Even Warzone, um, not my favorite song. Uh, it does have, a, like, a very standard, like, uh, like thrashy or, like, uh, pop punk or, like, uh, you know, metalcore drum line. Uh, and it doesn't really do much. It's a lot of screaming vocals. Uh, but the lyrics are good. Um, and it's talking about anxiety. Uh, it's personally about Polly's uh, anxiety attack after hearing um, that Chester Bennington had committed suicide. Um, but even, like, the, the bridge part, where it's the clean vocals, is really cool and a really interesting harmony lines and interesting chord progressions. Uh, so, it's a, another good one, um, just not my favorite. Um, and like I said, uh, If We Were Ghosts, that's another one to check out. It's my, hands down my favorite song on the album. Very interesting sound, um, very good harmonies, awesome chorus line. It's about another song actually about Chester Bennington. I'm talking about the idea of um, this world and the fragility of life and wishing that, you know, if we were ghosts, we wouldn't, we would, you know, stay here forever and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the interesting chorus line is, uh, it, and ties it all together is I'll have to wait till I get to the other side just to see you. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a powerful song and in general, a great closer. So there's a great opener, great closer. Unfortunately, everything in the middle is a little bit uh, scattered, and that's another problem. It's just that, um, you know, I commend what they were trying to do without Carlisle, but they're definitely missing him. And um, there aren't enough songs in a row that build in enough steam to get you to the end. So for me, uh, I wouldn't really recommend this to a lot of people. Um, it's a good try, but I would say... If you're going to listen to this album, stick with a couple of songs. Defy, um, Sunflower is good, 
Uh, Unbreakable is good. Uh, Vertigo. Money is an all right cover. Uh, if we were ghosts. So that's six songs that I would recommend and, you know, honestly, highly recommend only a few of them. Um, the other big, really big problem uh, is, honestly, the singles are very lackluster. Um, Back to Me is very cliched. Uh, Unbreakable is has a good vibe to it, but it's also another cliched song. Um, Warzone is interesting. Again, not my favorite, though. Um, and that's the weird thing. There's a lot of there's a lot of singles on this album, but none of them are good. Um, at least compared to the the other CD. If I was to pick songs from this CD that would go on to Cold War, I'd probably pick Defy, um, Vertigo, and uh, If We Were Ghosts. Those were the only three that honestly would make the cut. Maybe Unbreakable, but that's barely making the cut. Um, so. Listen to this if you would like. Uh, it's not going to blow you away. Listen to the songs I recommended. Um, and then honestly go back to Cold World if you haven't listened to it yet. Because that's a much better CD. This probably will not make my top 50. But you know this is only the 4th album I've listened to this year. Um, and I do have a couple more of those to uh, review. But I do have a couple more I want to review beforehand. Um, so if you do like what I'm talking about. And like uh, you know these reviews. Of course, please like uh, the video, comment on other CDs you would like me to review, share it with your friends, subscribe to this channel so you can see more of what I'm doing, um, you know, and uh, just a quick thing, I know I was supposed to put this out on the weekend, uh, but I was working on something else that uh, now that I've gotten it done, uh, you're going to see it this week. So this is coming out Tuesday, um, stay tuned for Thursday. For this uh, acapella song I've been uh, hyping up all this time. I hope you'll definitely enjoy it. So Thursday is that that's coming out. And then I'll see you Sunday for another album review. Peace.